Of all the golf videos I've done, I cannot believe I've not done this one. You see guys, I never ever play golf in the rain. But if I did, just how much difference would rain gloves actually make? Let's find out, and let's do it now. Ugh. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh dear. Hi everyone, James Robinson here. Guys, first things first, I hope you're all safe and I hope you're all incredibly well. I'd like to welcome you to get another video on my channel where I produce golf related content pretty much every day, well, every day, so that you guys can enjoy it and hopefully learn from it. In today's video, um, we're gonna get, um, well, we're gonna get, I mean, we're gonna get wet. So we'll leave those in there to soak. And also, and also it wouldn't really be a test without a comparison, would it? So here's a standard leather glove, which I wear nearly every single day of my life. It's obviously not a new one because we're from Yorkshire and I don't want to waste it. Um, see, when you play golf in the rain and that happens, oh, that feels awful already. Oh, I mean, look at that. I should definitely have brought a towel up here, I think, but, um, Basically, basically in today's video, we are gonna test if wet gloves really work. And I've got an inkling that they will work and we're gonna see just how much they work. So I'm gonna hit a couple of shots with clubs where I know the distances that they should go. And we're gonna see just if it does cost me using a normal, well, leather glove, as opposed to using the wet gloves that we have soaking in the basket now or the bucket now. The basket wouldn't work, would it? So we're gonna start with 50 degree gap wedge and we're gonna get the grip nicely wet because obviously when it rains, um, it gets wet, doesn't it? So generally, in fact, we need to get both hands wet for a fair test, don't we? Um, and now I've just realized I've no idea how I'm gonna move the camera back. I'll have to do it with a towel, I think. Other way. There we go. And I kind of want that to show you just how much of a fair test I want this to be, because I remember playing in a professional event Remember guys, keep washing your hands at the moment, maybe not with a leather glove on, but I remember playing a professional event and the winner who I played with used rain gloves and it was hammering it down. And I thought, was that the answer? Should I have, should I have just used rain gloves? And obviously the fact that it beat me by about 15 shots wasn't just a pair of gloves. But anyway, so gap wedge should go about 110. Definitely felt 104, definitely felt it give a little bit. I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep wetting these just so it's a proper ultimate fair test. Oh, that one was awful. That nearly came off that one. Does anyone, now does anyone else actually just not play golf when it gets like this or is it just me? Because um, I ain't that guy, I'm not that guy. Definitely not that guy, he says, squeezing bubbles out of the grip. And that one, I felt the face kind of flip a little bit. You see how high it's gone? Face was wide open and that's potentially cost me a shot already. Um, let's go seven iron. To be honest, I've got no idea what order I should kind of do this test in, but um, we're gonna go with just a normal grip first or glove first, should I say. And I have got to give a shout out to Gaz, who's in a lot of the videos, because this was totally his idea. I've nailed that one to be fair. That was nice. Usually 165 with a seven iron. That's 161, a little bit down again. Is it the grip or is it just me anyway? My hands are freezing, by the way. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh dear. Um, it's gotta be. I mean, very. that happens, but very rare. And that, to be honest, I was kinda, obviously you never hope for a shank, do you? But I was kinda hoping that that may happen in this round because we've all been out there in the rain where you've hit one and it's kind of come off and you're like, ugh, ugh, ugh. So in fairness with that shank, we've still got 142 yards, so not all's dead, but obviously the ball probably would be. And I was really kind of feeling that slip now. Let's go big dog and then let's see if these bad boys can uh, help. Touch the computer, best dry my hand. Right, okay, big dog. And my experience when playing in the rain with driver is generally probably like most people's, not a good one. And I usually hit it, or have been known to hit it left with driver, but actually for me, 
get this nice and soaking wet. For me, usually it would slide in the hands and it'd stay open. 275-ish, 270 carry, that kind of number we're looking for. That was awful. I'm not gonna lie, I really, I, I was conscious of that sliding out then, which I wasn't with any of the other clubs, but real kind of trust issues on that one, I don't know. I've never, I've never let go of one. I've never gone full release and the club just slide out. I have seen it happen, but it's never happened to me. I don't fancy buying a new, well, anything to be fair, so. That's usually the one. That is so, surely it can't be that bad. That's got to be in, in my head, I think. Oh, the gloves starting to peel. Ooh. Come on, let's see if we can get one up there to around about the number. Remember what they say, prepare to fail. No, prepare to fail, fail, fail to prepare, prepare to fail. And that's pretty much what's happening here. This driver grip soaking wet now. Let's see if we can just hit the fairway on the 18th. That slid again. Just cannot control that at all. I'm gonna go one more for the sake of, for the sake of trying, but almost feels like, I'm not gonna lie, Gaz made me this, he got the water for us and everything because it was his idea and I think he was pumped about it. But it almost feels like he's put kind of soap. Have you put soap in this, Gaz? If you've put soap, I'm gonna find out if you have. Dispersion, not good. Distance, atrocious. Come on, hand is freezing cold now. That felt better, but still it's, it's nowhere near. Let's start this process again. That, honestly, is disgusting. Uh, and you know how your hand just, you know your hand just smells after you've worn a golf glove in the rain? Um, now these, apparently the wetter you get these, the better they are. So they are soaking wet now and freezing. Um, interestingly, I never usually wear two gloves either. And they've actually gone a bit smaller. So, oh, that didn't sound good. Can we even get them on? Make sure you get there in plenty of time for your tea time. But generally, I suppose you'd leave these on all the way around, wouldn't you? So they're now on. Um, I'm gonna get them nice and wet again in a second after I've touched the computer. And now we're going gap wedge again, as wet as it can get. Now, I never would usually... What's going on there? I would never usually play with two gloves on. I've got no idea what's going on there. Anyway, we'll delete those. Um, I feel like Tommy Gainey. You know, remember him from the big break? Must say, first, first, yeah, I like that. I do like that. That is immediately up. And also, guys, I should probably have said this at the beginning of the test. This isn't a paid advert. This isn't a sponsorship. This isn't, this isn't anything to do with kind of foot joy wet gloves. It's just, these are what we had in the shop. So if you want to get some, get some. If you don't, I'm sure other brands are available. It's another well, it's, I look, yeah, that does feel good. The water must be doing something to, I don't know. We'll, we'll delete those ghost shots and we'll go one more with the wedge, gap wedge. That was heavy, but I think you'd still kind of take it. It does feel actually that when you kind of get to here, you've got that little bit of lag, you've got that little bit where you can, it doesn't like, yeah. Anyway, seven iron. So seven iron, I think, was a, not too bad, apart from the, uh, the yeah, the, the, yeah, we'll not talk about it. Oh, there we go. <laughs> but I already got a little bit more kind of confidence. How do they look? Do they go with my outfit? Uh, I don't know. Come on, 165. This club is dripping now as well. 163, a little bit of a pull. Definitely feet, definitely better, definitely better. And I don't think this is a case of, this video is gonna be called something like, do wet gloves work or do gloves work in the rain? I haven't thought about it yet, but, and really it's more like how, how much better are they? Because straight away you've got, I mean, look. I mean, just look at how wet they are. I'm still getting, I'm still getting numbers there or thereabouts, especially for the day. Maybe I'm not quite there on the day either, but spin rate's down. And I think that could be because the club head's a bit wet anyway, but might play in these all the time. Imagine rocking up 25 degrees, first tee. Suppose if your hands are sweating, that is another point that, I mean, you're gonna have real proper, 
golfer's tan there, aren't you? But, but if it meant shooting good scores, what does it matter? Heavy, but if that's the worst you're gonna do. I'm holding out hope now for Big Dog because, because driver with the normal glove just did not work. And I've just actually thought that I have played golf in the rain twice in the last kind of week. Let's get these really wet. Twice in the last week. And uh, I mean, I, I didn't use these because I, I just never even think to, to be honest, but um, probably should have done, probably should have done. Speaks volumes that I'm having to do this video in June, doesn't it, in the UK. Right, come on. First tee, been waiting all week to play and it's raining. Immediately better. Still no, not as good as I would like, but that's probably me, not the, not the, yeah. Immediately better. Club edge speed's decent actually, 107. To say I've not got complete control. I think we've seen all we need to see. I'm gonna go one more just for my own peace of mind. But I must say I might have frostbite in my fingers. Definitely a possibility. Well, well, I think it's fair to say that there's a difference there with all the clubs. Um, can I help me get these off? It's gonna have to be inside out, isn't it? My mum would kill me for that, but um, they don't need to go back in the water. We'll work on drying these now. And how lonely does that look now? I almost feel bad for that now. Um, I mean, you're probably gonna go in the bin, mate, to be fair, but let's have a look at the differences. So just like any test we do, we'll start off by looking at dispersion. Uh, gap wedge, take these with a pinch of salt because there was a few ghost shots which I'm gonna have to delete for the numbers, but generally not, I mean, I'm not gonna struggle with dispersion on a gap wedge, am I? I shouldn't do anyway. Gap wedge, wet gloves, better, a lot better. Again, a few ghost shots which I'll take out. I don't know why that's happened, I'll have to look at that. Um, but moving on to the irons, two, I mean, decent shots. We'll speak for the numbers in a second. And then that one, which even if you wear these wet gloves all the way around it saves you one of those shots i think i'd be i'd be delighted with that to be fair seven iron with the wet gloves i mean nowhere near perfect but to be honest it wouldn't be anyway even if this was a dry test to get it dry data dry and we get dry test dry that no anyway and then moving on to the driver, I mean, this was terrible. I couldn't even keep hold of it. Obviously with a driver, it's a little bit lighter. You are trying to turn it a lot faster. I just could not control the club head and the numbers were awful as well. Uh, driver with the wet gloves, better still. They're not gonna be dead straight, even on a dry summer's day on a Mauritius first tee because it's just never, never going to be but that is a world apart. What about the numbers? So differences with the wet gloves, the driver, we got out at 268, which is still a little bit lower. That could be down to the wetness, the gloves, it could be down to just kind of me anyway. The driver without the actual wet gloves, I mean, if I went out and played and I was sitting in drive like that, I think I'd, well, I'd walk in, to be honest, because that was um, awful. Uh, you see how the club head speed is down six miles an hour, which means the ball speed's heavily down as well. Smash factor's pathetic. Smash factor not great either way, and then spin massively up. Seven iron with the wet gloves, 161, still down a little bit, but reasonable, okay, not bad. Club head speed, actually club head speed was lower with the wet gloves, but the strike must have been way better. Obviously there was that shank in there as well, wasn't there? Without ball speed, 113, and spinning a little bit more as well. Um, seven iron without the gloves, I know we did a bit of a comparison there, but 153, just, that, that's a club short, isn't it, of, of what it should be. Gap wedge, gap wedge was the only one really which didn't kind of have too much difference. See so yeah, the club speed, there was a big difference, but um, yeah, not too bad, we could control the wedge. So generally there, is there a big difference using rain gloves in the rain? Absolutely yes, and these things cost about 20 pounds, so I mean, if you're gonna go and spend 300, 400, 500 pound on a driver and then on the irons and all the rest, why would you not have a pair of rain gloves in there? We don't all like playing in the rain. I hate playing in the rain. If it's raining before a tee off and it's not a competition, chances are I'm just not gonna go and play. I'm gonna go and do something else. I might go in the range, I might go in here. If you get caught in the rain, that's a totally different match. If you've got three holes left, four holes left, you've got a score going, you've got a match going, you're having fun. The other day I played with my friend Brett, Martin, and with Liam, we had a really good time, it rained but it didn't kind of put us off. It kind of rained on and off. If I had those gloves on, 
One thing I'd say is my hands are freezing and they feel awful now. They've gone really soft and stuff, but you can't have everything, can you? Guys, thank you so much for watching. Massively hope you've enjoyed that. If you have, why not hit that subscribe button below. Leave us a like if you did enjoy that content. And as always, I very much look forward to seeing you hopefully on a sunny day tomorrow. Um, might have to bin that now, I think. Never thought it'd take this long to unravel a pair of gloves. Always take the thumbnail at the beginning. <laughs>